It's time for cookery now. We're in the kitchen. Uh. Smells lovely, tastes lovely. What are you cooking? We are making you a fried chicken, but it's coming out of the oven, so it's a bit healthier, and I marinate it with a bit of those jerk spices oh, April. with sweet potato fries. I literally thought of you with the sweet potato fries, honestly. Thank you, April. This is going to be Thank a good you, one today. So we're using chicken thigh. I love chicken thigh. I just think it's juicy, it's succulent. Yeah. But if you did want to be extra good, if you're watching those calories, you could use chicken breast. Um, I would just say be careful because you just don't want to serve dry chicken. And I literally, this is just a store-bought jerk marinade and you put it on your chicken. You can get your hands in there. I just don't want to. <laughs> <laughs> you know what I do? I put like, the gloves on. Yeah. <laughs> a little or get someone else to do it yeah. for you. Get I mean, to do it. Hey, Paul, earn your keep. When you say you're, if you really count your calories, does chicken, would chicken thigh be more... Is it, just, is it just a bit more fat in chicken thigh? There, yeah, is it that is. The only if, reason... you're, if you're being good, they say that you should always have chicken breast. There's just less fat ah. in it. But it's good fat, though. I mean, for me it is, and for you it is. I'm just <laughs> saying, if is. somebody else wanted to... I just think me and Alison talk about chicken a lot. Do you? We just love thighs, <laughs> don't, we? don't we, yeah? Oh, you like, love thighs? Yeah. OK, like, we can be friends. Yeah, but more than, more than probably as healthy, we talk about chicken an awful lot. Like, if we had our way, basically, this is what we'd eat every Do time. Do you go cookery. to restaurants and order chicken? Always. Yeah, always. I never I, order chicken at a restaurant. You never, never no, I. because it's chicken. You can cook it at home like I'm showing you now. Oh, when I go so to a restaurant, fish. I, know, when I, I want go to, to restaurant, just do something else. Someone really good at cooking is going to cook it even better. Even better. Mm. Well, then, if you follow my recipes, baby, you won't it's need them to cook fine. it for you. Mm. So, with the flour, <laughs> right, you know. a bit of salt, <laughs> you with that? smoked paprika <laughs> and garlic powder, and that's just to make sure that we're adding a bit more flavour because we're going to basically panny the chicken, which just it's means delicious. that we add that coating to make it a bit crispy. So I add that in there and then I have to get messy. So you take your chicken. And I've noticed you've taken the, the, the skin off, which is really good. Yes, take the skin off, especially because we are putting it in the oven. You don't want to have it's another like you, layer. Yeah, it's like you're creating its own skin. Exactly. You don't need that fatty skin. Exactly. If so, you kept the skin on, would it crisp up or would it not? No, because we're doing this. Exactly. So you'd end up with soggy skin underneath mm, your crispy. Horrible. It just, yeah, no, we're not doing that. So you put that in. I'm just going to quickly wash my hands. Hey, well, the one time I've tried to do a version of this recipe, yeah. it's stuck to the paper. And what am I doing wrong when that happens? Are you using greaseproof paper? Yeah, but I And you're putting a bit of oil I on that? I might not be oiling it enough. Put a little bit of oil on your greaseproof paper. And also, the reason why our panko breadcrumbs gets extra crispy is because we put a bit of oil before we coat it. That's a good it. idea. So you put a bit of oil in, and that helps when you put it in the oven to get more texture. I've never done that before. I've always That's honestly the difference. Oh, wow, well done. Yep. Yeah. So you make that, and it's like a little bit sandy. And that's Could it be okay. any type of breadcrumbs, or does it have to, be those, has to be those? Panko. Yeah, I don't play with other breadcrumbs when we're doing this recipe. Really? Yes, the Japanese add... breast, bread cr breast crumbs? The <laughs> Japanese breadcrumbs, they're just lighter, they're more crunchy, and when I use the normal ones, it just gets a bit soggy. Yeah. So, can you educate me? So, jerk is the process of making the food, correct? I am glad you asked, babe. Good lad. So, at our restaurants, we don't serve jerk chicken. And I will tell you that most people that have been telling you about jerk chicken have been lying to you. Because you're right, jerk chicken is, it's the jerking process was basically created so that people didn't know you're cooking. So people would create these pits and put the meat, usually it was like wild boar or pig, marinated with seasoning and put it in this pit and smoke it. And if you are not cooking your jerk on pimento wood, my darling, it is not jerk no. so tell them to stop lying i will which is why we're saying it's spice. when i see them when i see them next <laughs> tell them. Um, but okay so with that in mind yes the spice process therefore changes from place to place from family to family from yes. region to region right so do you have either of you have a specific thing you always use when you when you when you spice your chicken so if I'm using a jerk marinade, I will only use like a specific brand. I feel like everybody has their brand. If you're you making it from scratch, yeah. I would then... never tell my secret to anybody. Really? really? No, never. But you don't like that much pepper. No, exactly. So I feel like so my I'd jerk would be really different, mine. exactly yeah. to yours. Um, There's still a little bit of a, a heat kick, in there, but hardly any. Hard, yeah. yeah. Whereas I feel like mine would probably be a bit more. Yeah, you'd fire my head off. <laughs> this is lovely. This is not that so that nice. Jerky. Yeah, because it's just a it's bit just of flavour. So with the fries, when you cut up your sweet potato and it's you're so adding... It's good, by the way, these fries. Thank you. You're adding corn flour, which again helps with the crisping up oh, process. Sweet funny. potatoes can be quite hard to get crispy because there's a lot of water content. So we add in our spices, mm -hmm. we add in the corn flour, and then it's like... Shh. 
break it up. <laughs> Shake it up. Like, get angry with the food. Yeah. And then I add a little bit of oil at the end, again, just to help it. So healthy as well, isn't it? Sweet, sweet potato. Sweet potato is so much better for you. And you know, this type of chicken, I do serve with plantain waffles on a Saturday and Sunday oh, yeah, at the restaurant. Nice. Plantain waffles. Explain that mm. wonderful. So when we're making the waffle batter, we use ripe plantain in there to give it like this natural sweetness. So you get the crunchy chicken wow. that has your fiery spiciness, and then you have that sweet plantain waffle. But also at the bar, I serve buttermilk fried chicken. I just love fried chicken. Who does not I love think fried I'm chicken? Come to your restaurant you need Thursday. to just come say hi, I honestly. Am. And I feel like at home, when you're making your food, fried chicken on a Friday night is just the one. Right. And if you've baked it like we have done now, you don't have to feel that guilty about it. Soul food. So you put that, oh. You put that in, <laughs> and basically, once you're plating up, you'll have your lovely chicken, you'll have your sweet potato fries. Everything is flavoured individually, but also tastes great together. It does feel healthy. I don't know what it is, Definitely. but it doesn't feel fattening. It doesn't feel You're not going like to get heavy. greasy. Yeah. It doesn't feel fried. No, it thing. doesn't. Yeah. And, but you still have the comforting flavour of fried food. You but still have that crispy well. texture yeah. that we love from fried food, but you don't have to feel bad about it. This is delicious. It smells so good. If um, I do say you so can myself. use real potatoes as well. If oh, you 100%. Want to. Yeah, this is for you, nice. babe. Yeah, thank you. This was my gift to you. Thank you. But of course, you can use normal potatoes. I still say add a little bit of seasoning to them, add a bit of smoked paprika on anything, just tastes better. Add the juice. Do you do the same yeah. process with just a normal potato? I wouldn't, exactly the same I wouldn't use corn flour right. because you don't need to try and like the boost the crispiness. Is there it is. And there's less water. Yeah. So you, it's easier to get a crispier potato. I would, if I was using a normal potato, parboil it first and then dash it in the oven. And how long do you parboil for when you parboil? Oh, just for a little bit. So, like, I'm talking 15 minutes. And you parboil Pretty whole and then, and then slice? No, I, I cut them slice up. Slice up and then parboil. Parboil. And also, start your water from cold. A lot of people are throwing in their potatoes really? into boiling water, and it means that the outside of your potato is cooking long before the middle. So it's always ah. with... It's not pasta. Always with your potatoes, start cold water and bring it to boil. See, these are the tips you need exactly. in your life. These are the tips you need.